Heads of state, leading global investors, and influential voices are here for the Qatar Economic Forum. A man who stole more than 70,000 Qatari rials from a bank has been arrested. Qatar approves another vaccine for optional use. And finally, Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. hits back at racist fans. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Hundreds of guests from around the world gathered in Lusail earlier today to kick off the third annual Qatar Economic Forum. Over the course of the event, participants will engage in extensive discussions over the latest global economic challenges with the aim of marking a new growth story. The event is widely seen as a reflection of Qatar's key position in the business world as well as its role as a platform for dialogue. Speaking at the venue in Lusail, Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani focused on the power of unity in overcoming crises. Now, authorities in Qatar have released shocking footage that shows the moments in which a man picked up a bag full of cash before running out of a bank. The culprit stole more than 70,000 rials but was quickly tracked down and arrested by police. Authorities say he has since admitted to the crime and the money has been seized. In healthcare, the HPV shot has been added to a list of approved vaccines here in Qatar. The health ministry said it introduced the vaccine as part of a strategy to protect the community from cervical cancer, a significant public health concern. HPV cannot be treated but it can be prevented through vaccination. Currently, the HPV vaccine is approved and recommended for use by a range of global health bodies, including the World Health Organization. And finally, Sunday night saw shocking scenes at Spain's Mestalla Stadium during a match between Valencia and Real Madrid. The match came to a standstill after Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. was insulted by a fan near the goal. Fans also chanted monkey at the Brazilian superstar. Following the game, the winger took aim at La Liga for normalizing such racism and said the league quote now belongs to racists. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.